guys, it's Miss Atkinson again. Uh, today we are going to be doing math and we are talking about composite shapes or compound shapes. Now compound shapes are shapes that are put together. For example, it could be a house or several pieces of a garden. It could be a square and a triangle, a triangle and a parallelogram. The point is, is that you take those shapes you break them into smaller shapes so that you can find the area. And I'm obviously going to give you an example of this. So just to review, area is the amount of space that a shape covers. And you find the area using a formula. And that's what we did last week. So squares, rectangles, and parallelograms were base times height. The only time you divide by two is if you are finding the area of a triangle. Triangles are base times height divided by two. Now, if you are doing a compound shape, all you have to do, find the area of each shape and then add them all together. And we're gonna do a couple questions together. And don't forget, the height is always perpendicular to the base. Okay guys, we are going to solve the area of these compound shapes together. So the first one, as you can see, is a square and a triangle. So we break them up. So we've got the square here and the triangle here. So area of the square, we'll do the square first, equals base times height. So that is two times two, equals four centimeters square. So then we're gonna do the triangle. So area equals base times height divided by two. So the height is three centimeters, the base is two centimeters. And I know that because this side of the square is two, two centimeters. So I know that this side, because it is perpendicular, is also two centimeters. So we are going to go two times three divided by two. So two times three is six divided by two is three. So that is three centimeters squared. So I've got three centimeters squared for the triangle, four centimeters squared for the square, three plus four equals seven centimeters squared. That is the total area of that shape. Let's move on to this one now. Okay, this one's a little bit more difficult because it's got actually three shapes. It's got this parallelogram, it's got this rectangle, and it's got that little itty bitty triangle. So let's do the rectangle first because rectangles are easy. So area equals base times height. So. We've got 10 centimeters times five centimeters. 10 times five equals 50 centimeters squared. Okay, let's do the parallelogram. So I know that the base of the parallelogram is 10 centimeters because it is on the same line as the rectangle. So area equals base times height which is 10 centimeters times, and the height is right there, four, which would be 40 centimeters squared. And now finally, let's do that little triangle. And I can see that this is a right angle triangle because it's got that little hypotenuse right there, that little square guy. So I know that this is the height, this one is the height. So that would be five centimeters. Area equals base times height divided by two, which would be three times five divided by two. So three times five is 15. 15 divided by two is 7.5 centimeters squared. So now we're going to add all these up together. So 50 plus 40 is 90 plus 7.5 so 50 plus 40 plus 7.5 equals 
97.5 centimeters squared for this entire shape. So all you have to do just to review is find the area of each shape. You could number them, you could label them just so you don't get confused. Then you're going to take the areas of all the shapes that you did and then add them up. So this would be your answer. And that's it. That's how easy it is, guys. So, so area of composite shapes, all you're doing is calculating the area of each shape and then adding them up together. Remember, parallelograms and squares and rectangles are all base times height. Only triangles are base times height divided by two. If you have any questions, make sure you post them in the Google Classroom. Please do the word problem that I gave you as well as the sheet of composite shapes and then submit them on the Google Classroom so that I can give you guys a perfect score. All right, we'll see you guys later and uh, have a good day.